KSBW Weather with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everyday. Quick uh, recap here of the day. All in all, pretty typical temperatures going with the marine layer in the morning, sun in the afternoon, 75 Santa Cruz. I uh, got the middle and upper 80s going up in the Santa Cruz Mountains of 70 in Watsonville. The peninsula with the onshore breeze coming in off of the bay, mostly 60s. And again, that's what you'd expect. 75 though, Carmel Valley and Big Sur hit 83. Of course, you move inland. It's a different story, starting with Salinas, 68, but then you get into the 70s, the 80s, and if you go far enough south at the Fort Hunter Liggett or out to the Pinnacles, how about 96 and 97 degrees? So yeah, a different story out that way. No marine air gets in there pretty much uh, day to day. 79, San Jose, upper 80s, Morgan Hill, Gilroy, 82 in Hollister. We'll check in on our hurricanes. Uh, there's Fernanda heading out and towards Hawaii, but weakening. Thank goodness we had a tropical depression here and that's Greg. So just looking at the track, we'll do more on Greg when he gets a little further off the coast, not bothering anybody, by the way. Fernanda, though, will continue to track towards the islands, but weaken most likely into a depression uh, before she gets close enough to do anything. So there won't be any wind really uh, left with Fernanda by the time she gets close. 80 in Tahoe today, 90s in Sacramento, 100 in Bakersfield, 102 in Palm Springs. Their average high temperature this year, 104. So I guess you could say they were a few degrees below normal, but 102, still hot in my book. Let's get in uh, to the fire situation right now. Uh, Detweiler fire still obviously huge and, and just expanding right now. Almost doubled in size last couple of days. Relative humidities are low. Winds 5 to 15, but stronger near the fire. Temperature 88 right now, so still pretty hot out there. And you can see the wind direction coming from the west or southwest. That's a good direction for us, of course, because it's pushing the smoke off to the east, unfortunately, into Yosemite, which is really smoky right now. And there are travel delays. Look at all the fires across the state. I'll get out of the way so you can see all these. So again, this is just a word to travelers. If you're heading into parts of the Sierra or into Southern California or into Northern California from here. There's a lot of fire activity, which leads to smoke. So if that's something that bothers you, you may want to check ahead and there are going to be travel delays. You could turn your five hour drive to Yosemite to eight or nine. I had some friends who did that just a day ago. So check your routes along the coast. You're pretty good because again, the winds are coming in from the west, pushing all this smoke out in and over to the Sierra. So right now we're doing OK coast side. We had the low clouds this morning and they burned off. Everybody had sun. We also had some showers and thunderstorms. Most of those were out over the deserts out towards Vegas, just a couple of them out in the uh, uh, south and east towards Bakersfield, but nothing much here in California. Marine layer still in place here. Good news for us in terms of keeping the temps down a little bit and that onshore flow, which continues all the way across the state again out of the west. So we'll keep that going, which is good news again, pushing all the smoke away from us. Light winds and the marine layer coming back tonight with some patchy fog at the coast. We'll bring the low clouds all the way down the valley tonight, too. So uh, we'll be dealing with that in the morning, but a quick burn off uh, or pretty much by lunchtime. I think we'll have at least some sun at the beach and then we'll follow that up with mostly sunny by the afternoon and your winds will slacken up overnight. But watch these arrows grow tomorrow afternoon. You can see as they lengthen that brings in about a 10 to 20 mile an hour wind from uh, parts of Moss Landing down to the peninsula and down the Big Sur coastline. And of course, the west side of Santa Cruz picks up on a good breeze as well. A mix of 40s and 50s, so we're staying clear a good part of the night. That allows the temperatures to drop off quite a bit, so it's going to be cool. And tomorrow, hey, pretty nice day. Mid 60s to middle 70s. You got your morning overcast following up with sunshine in the afternoon. That's the coast. The inland areas, including the hills, Santa Cruz Mountains, Santa Lucia's, mid 70s to middle 80s. Of course, warmer out towards the pinnacles. They'll be back into the 90s tomorrow. Middle 60s to middle 70s, though, in the Bay Area, San Jose topping off right around 68 degrees tomorrow. 68, no, San Jose will be in the mid 70s. I don't know how we skipped San Jose there, just skipped us on by. I'll tell you though, Morgan Hill and Gilroy all in the low to mid 80s tomorrow. But 70s and 80s in the Salinas Valley. Again, you got to get south of King City to get the warm stuff. At the coast though, low to mid 60s, Carmel, Monterey, and a 75 in Carmel Valley, low 80s in Big Sur. Santa Cruz Mountains seeing the middle and upper 80s, about 84 in Scotts Valley and 70 tomorrow for Watsonville. Your KSPW eight day forecast looking good at the coast. At least we're going to have some sun in the afternoons, and that's about what you could hope for this time of year after morning low clouds, mid 60s to middle 70s. Santa Cruz, a shot at maybe getting into the upper 70s to near 80 on Saturday or Sunday. We got a little warming trend taking hold. Again, 80s mostly for the valleys. We'll start to see some more 90s though Saturday and Sunday. Not a heat wave, but middle 80s to middle and upper 90s. So 
you know, out towards the pinnacles, it'll probably be a, a hundred plus by Sunday. And then we're cooling off already by Monday, so it's kind of a, a two-dayer. It seems interesting, all of these little heat events have happened on the weekend so far this year.